Hi, today in this video, I'll show you how to set up an outlier based monitor in Sumo Logic. Data ingestion varies a lot during the day. So, how do you know when there's a problem with ingestion? An unusual change or a spike in a time series of a key indicator is the first sign of trouble in distributed systems. Detecting these unusual trends in key KPIs is not easy with traditional static threshold based alerting. There's a lot of normal or uninteresting variation in these metrics, which static thresholds will catch, but may cause alert fatigue. Outlier detection with monitors allows you to detect and alert when these unusual changes occur and quickly investigate. Outlier detection can help you configure alerts on KPIs that have a lot of normal variations during different times of the day, like latency, traffic volume, and throughput. Alert users when the system identifies anomalous behavior. The alert also provides all the context necessary to understand and act on the issue. Resolve the outlier alert automatically when the anomalous behavior is no longer seen. Next, I'll show you how to add an outlier detection monitor in the Sumo Logic environment. From the left navigation panel, I click Manage Data, Alerts, and then Monitors. On the Monitors page, click the Add button and select New Monitor to add a new monitor. The Monitor Creation dialog box will appear. For this video, let's select Metrics as the monitor type. Choose Outlier as the detection method. I will provide a query here. A logs monitor can have one query up to 4,000 characters long. Metrics monitors can specify up to six queries. The monitor will automatically deduce the query row to use for the trigger. Select both as the direction that you want to track. This helps you get alerted if there is any abnormality in the data, whether an increase or a decrease in the tracked key indicator. Specify the trigger type. A monitor can have one critical, warning, and missing data trigger condition, each with one or more notification destinations. The standard deviation number helps set the sensitivity of the anomaly. Lower standard deviation indicates more sensitivity to change based on the past behavior and vice versa. The baseline 4 number indicates the historic time window used to compute a baseline. Here, 24 hours indicates we look at the last 24 hours of data to compute the baseline on which anomalies will be computed. This is an optional field to set notifications. When a trigger condition is met, you can send notifications to other people and services. Click the Add Notification button and you can add more than one notification channel for a monitor. Finally, enter a name for the monitor and the location you want it saved to. A description is optional. Click Save. Once saved, you can view the new monitor details on the page here. Anomaly-based alerting helps with effective observability. It's important for custom and business KPI-based metrics that follow business and market trends and therefore have natural variations, and application-level metrics that are automatically collected using Sumo Logic Tracing Solution. I hope this video helps you set up an outlier monitor in Sumo Logic. Thank you for joining. <laughs>